Hi guys, welcome to Permutation Combination Workshop. In this workshop, I'll give the complete overview about how to prepare for PNC, what are the topics coming in PNC, what is the scope of PNC, and mainly how you are going to plan your preparation because this is one of the worst topic you'll ever see in your maths. Fine, so importance wise, this is very very important because every exam will contain three to five questions on permutation combination. Fine, that's the syllabus for permutation combination. We start with words numbers and into n distribution selection uh, circles and miscellaneous questions fine there are four parts of permutation combination one is permutation one is combination one is distribution and last is probability so these four areas combined are going to come for three to five questions which normally is either ignored by the students or will take you too much time to solve yep Alright, so I was wanted to sit with pen and paper ready to take a note of all the different type of questions which are coming. Now that is very very important to understand because PNC is more of a logic based topic rather than a mass based topic. So there is no one fixed formula like simple interest you have one formula PRT by 100. I can use same dumb formula everywhere. Here every question will evolve with a different strategy. Fine. So you need to understand all the different type of questions which are coming. Fine. That's why I am recording this video. So this is more of a scope. Fine, for example, words. Fine, I'll give one example. How many ways you can arrange a three alphabet word from the word orange? Yeah, that's a typical question you will get from orange. How many ways I can arrange the word Mississippi? How many ways I can arrange the word group with end with the vowel or start with the vowel? Yeah, so that's a typical question you will get. Next is number based questions. For example, how many numbers I can form for using 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which are more than 4,000 and less than more, more than 1000, less than 4000. That's a typical question. Yep, circular question. How many ways I can make them sit on circular track, on circular table? Fine. Now, uh, this video is more about how to prepare and what are the type of questions which are coming. Fine. Another video is there for shortcuts. You can see that video as well that I'll talk about afterwards. Fine. We'll start with the same simple question. How many ways six people can sit on a circular table or a semicircular table? Fine, this is always half of n minus 1 factorial. All the books will talk about these formulas and all. Fine. But the problem comes when you see the exam is not going to be simply based on a question like this, but more of application. For example, this is a level easy. Fine, a medium level question will be something like this. Six teachers, six students have, are sitting on a circular table. How many ways the teacher is always between any two students, students or no two students should sit together. But that is a medium level question based on same topic on circular table. Yep. Or advanced level topic. How many ways eight director, vice chairman, chairman sit such that chairman sit between vice chairman and director? This is your advanced level. Fine. So I've given you the three different type of question: easy, medium, and advanced. So depending on which exam you are taking and what is the level exam, these are the kind of question you are going to get. For example, a bank PO might be level one or worst case level two. But exam like CAT or SSC is going to be uh, level 2 or level 3. Yep. So you should understand how you're going to solve all these questions. Fine. Now how to prepare for permutation combination? You understand there are three types of questions. Easy, medium, uh, difficult. Maybe you start off with easy and medium question only. You pick up any book you have or if you have time to join us. We have various level 1, level 2, level 3 books for all these uh, chapters. So you can start off with the easy and medium level first. Fine. And main problem you'll feel within PNC is permutation combination is where to use NCR, where to use NPR. So I don't use any formulas for that. So you can join us for the shortcut workshops as well. As well. Then once you're comfortable with this level, then you go to advanced level. Fine. For our classroom students and online students, we have two kind of lectures. One is the basic lectures and one is the advanced level lectures. So which are all covered as a part of the program. Yep. Next is a question based on the seating arrangement. Alright, for example, this is the typical question. How many, what is the rank of Rahul? If all the words of alphabets of the word R, A, H, U, L arrange in the dictionary order, what is going to the rank of Rahul? Yep. Now, this is a typical question. If you have not seen this question earlier, it's impossible to solve. Fine. Now, I want you to, after this video, I want you to find out all these kind of questions from various books and solve them. Yep. Selection based. How many ways from six teachers, 36 teachers in school, how many ways one principal and one vice principal can be pointed? The typical question based on 
um, selection. All right, possible selections. There are ten. All find the number of possible selections from ten given questions. Each question have A, B, C, D four alternatives. Next topic is distribution. How many ways you can put ten different rings in five different fingers? Very very important question. Squares ka. This is not commonly coming in the advanced level exam like NMAT or ZAT or CAT 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 exam and even SSC as well. How many different? What is the number of squares in a chessboard? Now everyone know answer is sixty four. Fine, but the actual answer is two zero four. Yeah, because I'm talking about the one by one square. I can also have two by two squares. I can also have a three by three square. I can also have a four by four squares. So like this total, you just remember the name number two two zero four. Yeah, इसको याद कर लो. Fine, but the problem is in your exam you might not get eight by eight square. They might give you a six by six square. How many number of squares? Then you are gone. So that's why you need to understand all those things rather than to find the answer. Or you get a a rectangle. The one side is four and one side is eight. How many squares can be formed? Fine. So these are the typical questions you are going to get in your exam. Or how many different ways are there to go from A to B? So I can go one way or this way or this way. This way many ways are there. Fine. So this is a typical question in the exam. And if I want to make it advanced level, what I'll do is. I will block one road. This road is road road is blocked. Now you find out how many ways I can go from A to B. Yeah, so all these ways cannot be counted. All right, so this is the typical question you are going to get. Yeah, that's a typical example. There is no road here. How many ways from go to A to go from from A to B? Fine. So what we do, we kind of shortcut workshop for all these things like permutation, combination, probability come as a part of uh, quant cut off learning workshops. Find the six topic within quant and six topic within verbal. So if you want to join us, you can join us for this program. More information about this is given on ceticking dot com. Uh, you can join us for the classroom program in Mumbai or online program all India sitting anywhere. Please call us on this number nine five nine triple four one double eight four eight for more details about joining our programs. Yep. So this video was more about how to prepare prepare for permutation combination. Fine. Now you can see few more videos as well. For example, how to uh, prepare for quant over overall, and there's another shortcut video for permutation combination. You can see that video as well.